Hi! Welcome to Luxury and Moderation, where we appreciate the finer things in life without going overboard. Today we have a different setup because we are going to be cleaning jewelry today. I got my hands on this machine, which is probably what they use in like jewelry stores when they offer like, oh, let me clean your ring for free. Like this is probably what they use. So this is going to be my first time trying it. I don't really know what I'm doing. I just know that my jewelry is very dirty. So I have a tray of items here. So I have my diamond ring, some necklaces, some gold items, and I also have my watch. So, you know, these things I wear a lot. There's probably lotion on it. There's probably hand sanitizer that I'm curious how clean this machine can make it. And also, if you don't have this machine, how I clean my jewelry normally. So let's go on this experiment together. If you like fine jewelry and luxury products, please consider liking this video and subscribing below so you don't miss any of my luxury content. So this machine is supposed to be an ultrasonic cleaner. So it'll kind of like vibrate and create bubbles and that's supposed to clean the jewelry. It says this ultrasonic technology generates millions of tiny bubbles using high efficiency sound waves. The movement of these bubbles cleans delicate jewelry safely and effectively for absolutely sparkling results. So basically it told me to put water in here and then there is solutions that can help if your jewelry is especially dirty you can put the cleaning solution into the water like they said 15 milliliters and then there's one for like gentle jewelry so this is especially for like pearls opals emerald turquoise um, but it can also be used for diamonds and gold and then this other one is supposed to be for just a regular fine jewelry cleaner. Um, again, it says diamond, cubic zirconium, sapphire, ruby, gold, platinum, stainless steel, titanium. Oh, so this also cleans stainless steel apparently. So the pink one says it cleans stainless steel and the blue one says it cleans sterling silver. So I'm really interested in that because I have a few sterling silver pieces here. This is from Pandora, my ring, that's like a bow. And you can see it's like really blackened, right? And it's supposed to be silver. And then I have this open heart from Tiffany. So again, it's really, really tarnished. Now, normally I would just um, rub and polish this silver. So something like a cleaning cloth, these are like microfiber cloths. This was also provided with this kit. And basically all you do is like rub your silver jewelry and then the black will come off. So we can experiment on, you know, how good this thing works with the silver versus me just rubbing it. So the first thing I'm going to do is clean my watch like I would if I didn't have this machine. So basically what I do is I take a old brush. So this is an old toothbrush that I have. And you have to make sure that the bristles are pretty soft. You don't want to have like really rough bristles because it can scratch your watch material or whatever material you're cleaning. And I basically just dipped it in this water. This is just regular tap water. And you can see like all the spaces where the links are coming together like gross stuff builds in between there like i mentioned sunblock um, lotion and then it gets really gross so as you can see just pay attention to the color of my toothbrush bristles if i'm just going in there with the bristles making sure the bristles go into the little holes you can already see the bristles are getting a little bit darker because all of that grime and dirt is coming out of those holes and getting wiped away. So you can really see, you know, the bristles are cleaning inside of there. So I also want to go from this angle as well. So getting in there, trying to uh, move the watch so that the holes are not closed and the bristles can really get in there to clean out this gross stuff. So see, it's really gross, right? 
Okay, so let me just wipe this off a little bit. Now I'm gonna do that with the other side right here on top because you'll see in a moment that this machine is supposed to create little bubbles and it will do the same thing that the toothbrush bristles are doing, but it's not gonna reach the top of the area right here. I'm just gonna scrub this off a little bit first. So see, really gross. And then I'm just going to lightly, you know, rub this stuff because there's probably old sunblock on there too. And then this uh, toothbrush technique is what I also do with my like rings. So I would probably, you know, rinse off the toothbrush. So it, like all this dark, gross, dirty stuff comes off and then I'll just dip it in water and rub it. Um, you can also dip it in a solution of just water and a little bit of dishwashing liquid because dishwashing liquid is so good at cutting through grime and dirt. And then I'll just like kind of lightly scrub the diamonds because again, like there's little holes on the back. You can see that it will clog up the shine of the ring. But since we do have this machine right here, I am going to try to read off the instructions and do it appropriately. So this little accessory came with the machine and you are supposed to use it with watches. Basically it protects the engine of the watch so that it does not come in contact with the water and the bubbles because even though most watches are waterproof, the instructions said that the bubbles could disrupt and get into you know the machinery and then it would break the watch. So you definitely don't want to immerse the entire watch in the machine. So all I have to do is press the on button Button to begin the cleaning cycle um, and it says the red light will go on so I'll okay so the machine just shut off by itself so let's take the watch out and see how clean it is water did not really change temperature and just for a test, let's see. Um, I took the same toothbrush head and I just went to go wash it with dishwasher liquid. Um, like I said, and you can see it's all white again. So let's see if all the grime is out from the bottom links now that the machine has worked or not. Ooh, look at all that still in there. So it doesn't seem like this water uh, the machine in the water was able to do such a thorough job of cleaning my bracelet links. Now I wonder if it would be a different story if I had used one of the cleaning solutions, like it said. Um, but I think for my watch, it's just, you know, I don't think the little bubbles are strong enough to clean in between all of these. So. I am just going to manually clean it with my toothbrush head. And it's probably better to do this near a sink so that you can, you know, rinse and get the water all clean as you're going. But I'm just going to do it on this napkin right here. And I did put a little bit of dishwasher fluid on the toothbrush. Just a little bit, you don't wanna overwhelm everything, but this watch is very, very dirty. I did wear it all through Europe where I was there, and I know that there's a bunch of sunblock on it, there's a bunch of hand sanitizer. Like, look at that, look at that dirt coming out of the links. And then after I do this scrub, I am of course gonna run it under a little bit of water, and then it will be clean and ready to wear again. Okay, moving on to sterling silver. So we have my very tarnished ring from Pandora. You can see so black and this cloth, apparently there's two sides. The white side is for getting tarnish off. The outside is for getting like fingerprints off. So let's go with the white side and basically rubbing Wow, you can already see that come right off and my ring is immediately less black. For sterling silver jewelry, it really just takes time to 
polish it and get the tarnish off. And honestly, I think that's the best way of keeping them clean. Now I kept the other side black because I want to see how well this machine does. So let's prepare it. They did provide a basket for you to put your items in. And then I'm gonna put the ring in. I'm also going to put in my heart from Tiffany because it's also made out of sterling silver. And this chain is also from Tiffany and tarnished. You can see how black that is. I also wanna put in my engagement ring, my wedding band. This is another piece that I haven't cleaned in a really long time. I think the key is made out of platinum, which is, or white gold, which is why it's not tarnished, it's not silver, but the chain is. It is a Tiffany chain that I just put on this pendant, so you can see how much the chain has tarnished versus the actual pendant itself. So for the chain, before using the machine, I am just gonna do a quick test to see how much tarnish I can get off of it. Again, using this white cloth, I'm just going to pull the chain through. And you can see that is the tarnish that came off the chain. I'm just gonna do the clasp a little bit. And then we can do this pull test again after the ultrasonic bath to see how well the bath cleaned. And then the last thing I'm going to throw in the bath is this diamond pendant. I haven't washed this in I don't know how long. And gold. Okay, so I'm going to add 15 milliliters of this cleaning solution to the water bath as it suggested and start okay three minutes now let's take out the basket and see how good of a job it did so i can tell right off the bat that everything does look shinier so that's good um I don't know, can you guys see a difference through the lens? Definitely shinier to me. And let's see about this sterling silver. So, ooh, this was the side that I did polish, it seems, and this was the side that I did not polish. So it seems like this is still gonna have to go through some manual polishing with the cloth. And then this is the chain that I did not do the pull test. And let's see how black the chain is going to do. And then I'm going to take that same cloth so you can see this is what we did before the bath. And then this is the first chain which I did not clean. And let's go right next to it and see how good it does. Right. Ready? Ooh, still very, very black. So it seems like that ultrasonic bath didn't do very well against tarnish. So I am going to have to rub this ring, rub that tarnish off. Well, it becomes all black if you don't polish it. So, yeah. Well, I can say that at least for the gemstone pieces, they look shinier. Ooh, look at the heart. It definitely looks shinier for the heart. And again, this is sterling silver. Let's see how much additional tarnish I can get off this though because like I said, it does look much shinier coming out of the bath, but I'm still curious if there's still tarnish on there that it, I can remove and it can get even cleaner. Um, you know, it's not that bad. I don't see any black coming off of it. 
So that's a great sign. I think it's just hard because the chains have such small links and it's hard to, you know, even for the little bubbles to get through all of this. But actually, let's do the pull test for this one and see if, you know, the bath did anything positive. Pull it over right here. Oh, still pretty bad. And for the gold. Pendant. Now it does look like the pendant is still pretty black along all those crevices where dirt and grime can get in. Just lightly get in those holes so it doesn't look quite as black. So all in all, I think it was a very interesting experiment. It was fun to play with this new ultrasonic cleaning toy, but it didn't seem like it was super effective for a lot of things, such as my watch links, the sterling silver. I do think that my diamond pieces came out a little bit better though. So maybe I'll keep using it, but it seems like I'm still going to have to polish my silver manually and I'm gonna have to scrub my watch links manually. And as I mentioned, this machine is probably what they use in jewelry stores so when they offer to clean your jewelry pieces and they take your ring or necklace or whatever and bring it to the back room this is probably what they pop it in and they'll be like oh it's about three minutes so now you know why I did want to mention though that if you do have any pieces that are unheated like my ruby ring here and that means that no heat was applied to the stone. I don't recommend that these unheated pieces go into um, ultrasonic machines like that because even though the water temperature did not change, there still is a little bit of heat generated from all that kinetic energy making the little bubbles and it would apply the heat to the stone a little bit and possibly change the color. So you just want to be careful about all your pieces. The instruction manual also does not recommend you put in any pieces that, you know, the setting might have been knocked out or, you know, loose stones because with the vibrations, it is possible that if a stone is already loose or if the setting clause is already kind of knocked out of shape that your piece can be ruined. So I hope this video was interesting for you to see exactly what happens. I know that there's machines like this in the market if you do want to have an at-home unit. I do think it's a little bit more convenient for me to pop in my rings every so often versus you know scrubbing with a toothbrush. So it is nice to have. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos and I can't wait to come back with more content. So please remember to like this video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!